It's more like that one thing where it's like, if I don't lift this, I'm gay and my family dies. <laughs> Surprise tool that will help us later. <laughs> Who's gonna carry the boat in the lawn? I often get asked. Admin, what is your workout routine? Admin, how do you how do you work out? How do you lift? Well, today you're gonna find out how I work out, but you're gonna find out on the managerial outcomes channel because it's a channel that has no rules. I can do whatever I want on this channel. On the main channel, I wanted to stick very much into the niche of the firearms weapon realm. It's how I grew, it's how it started. But on the managerial outcomes channel, I wanted a little bit more left-right limits to do whatever I want. And it so far has stuck within the firearm genre for the most part. But I wanted to break into uh, maybe doing some other weird stuff. Like maybe we go do a little workout and there happens to be a gym where I can just work out and be uh, be my crazy self. Because commercial chain gyms, aren't, to me, it's not the environment for it. The gym we're going to, it's gonna be the environment for it. And if you have a gym out there and you're local to Arizona in the East Valley, hit the business email. I'd love to work out at your gym and be a little crazy man in there. Be a little schizophrenic in the gym. Before we go though, we gotta get two things. We gotta get pre-workout and we have to get some ammonia. We gotta see smelling salts. That's what's in it. That's what's in smelling salts, right? It's ammonia. Yep. All right. What are those shoes? Come my Burks, dude? They only sold my Burks, man. You're already on thin ice. Uh-oh, uh you caught me. This doesn't count. This is, I'm having this as a, as a yummy snack. <laughs> Guilty, busted. I love these things, man. Yo, dude, I like this gym, man. <laughs> this isn't the gym I usually go to. This is, uh, it's the cameraman Colton's gym. I've never been here before. I like a nice gym aesthetic. This gym has a good aesthetic. It's got a good personality. Like, like uh, I like a nice rusty weight style gym because it's not friendly to women. I don't want to work out at a chain gym that's really friendly to women. I don't like it. I like women. I just like my environment to be hostile. It's more familiar, you know? It's more familiar. Scott! Okay, what's the workout today? What do you think the workout's gonna be? Back and buys. I say we do chest, back, and buys and tries. Sick, nasty, upper body pump. I did legs yesterday, legs slash lower back. My legs are... They're doing good. I'm not too worried about getting more mass on my legs. I just wanna get staunch in the upper body. We'll train some longbow stuff. Colton, put in the longbow B-roll. Right, I'm gonna get warmed up, then I'll keep talking. <laughs> Gentlemen, this video is sponsored by Americana Pipe Dream Apparel. If you like male <laughs> syrup, if you like uh, cool camouflage, if you like stuff that helps you see in the dark, such as night vision, then they're gonna be an excellent sponsor for you to go check out. Link for them will be in the description down below. Go check them out, give them, a, give them some love. Let them know that I sent you. They take good care of me, so we'll take good care of you. I think this gym also has a tire. I love tires. Easy, dude. It's gonna be a good workout, I'm feeling this. I love the fitness influencers. All they focus on is like, so change your grip angle to this or this for better results. You're gonna tell me, the guy who gets administrative results, how to, how to grip? Do they know who I am? Yeah. <sighs> Woo! Lightweight, baby! Yeah! This is lightweight. Thirteen rep scheme, not ten, not twelve. We'll do thirteen. The gym has white monsters, bro. A gym that has white monsters and looks like this, this is like the pinnacle of fitness. Shout out to this gym, dude. Flex Society. They don't know I'm in here. I snuck in. Flex Society. Hey, don't trespass me. I like the gym, dude. It's cool. It's a good gym. In fact, consider this free marketing, okay? <clears throat> I didn't realize 
I had the schizo gym bug. Until I, got, I started getting going, I feel great right now. I feel like I'm in my element. Maybe even more so than administrative results. Maybe I should just turn into a meathead gym channel, dude. People will say, admin, hey man, your shorts are kind of short. I got big legs, man. We got big legs like this, you want to show them off. <sighs> Easy. I saw this absolute Popeye looking mofo on a reel doing these. When I say Popeye, dude, dude's forearms were ridiculous. He was doing curls essentially with kettlebells. You said it was for grip strength, hitting the grip strength. Ever since I saw that, I stole that for myself because I wanted that. This is a good gym, man. Probably gonna like it. What if I, what if I just kept working bear crawls the entire workout? Just fuck it. With a gym as empty as this, I essentially can superset whatever I want. So it can be a super superset. Already getting a good pump come in. I've been a little thick lately, if I'm being honest with you guys. Being fully accountable with myself, I have been thick, okay? It's also kind of nice. It means my wife knows how to cook. I like to lift my weights in a twisty, jerky motion. We did 14 because old, old admin did 13. We gotta be better than old admin. Yeah. How my quads looking, bro? God! Fetch me my salts. Does it like hurt or does it just wake you the f up? It's an acquired taste. Like it feels good later on. Like yeah. once you like it. Okay. So you got some smelling salts here. For context, I've never done smelling salts before. So this will be my first time ever. Oof. Whoa! What a waste. I'm gonna win the German Tour de France called the 39th Panzer Division. That's some gnarly stuff. Any sinuses I had, that cleared it right out. Dude, those smelling salts, they actually, they're pretty gnarly. I never realized how gnarly those were. They, they feel like how I imagined the war boys felt in Mad Max. 
We were like, witness! That's what it felt like. It felt like I was ready to blitzkrieg France, bro. It felt gnarly. Colton got hit pretty hard. I've been pepper sprayed before and tear gassed. So I knew, uh, I kind of, I, I have a rough baseline of pain for that. I think we're gonna do some bench, some flat bench. God, dude, I love the rusty weights. Truly is a unbeatable gym aesthetic, a true powerhouse gym. It's like a sanctuary of uh, fitness. A man is not worthy. Two piles of rocks, do you wanna like do a, you wanna pick up the rocks and put them back down? Talking. The weights were singing, saying, Admin, Admin's weak, Admin's soft. The truth about those weights is that they're right. I am a weakie, I am a weak softy. I like this gym doesn't have like any air going. See, so get nice and sweaty. That sweaty pump. Working those forearms, working them, working them arms. My lower back's a little cooked. We're gonna work on the lats, upper back, some tries, and do the super duper set. Mike's goofing up, dude. Doing some pulls for the war bow. Trying not to get too imbalanced, so I'm trying to do each arm. That was only six reps each arm, that was heavy. It's on the 10 of whatever this is. I'm guessing maybe 100 pounds. I need, I need, before I die as a man or get too old, I need to get a 160 pound draw war bow. I've been shooting my war bow at 100 pounds right now. It's feeling pretty good. I can go arrow after arrow. It's a pretty easy trick. As uh, you do front foot forward, lean into it, I come up with it. I've seen the, the bigger guys not necessarily bigger, but the guys have been doing it longer. Some of them will go from a top down into it. I've been going from a, a bottom up into it. So, cause it's not that bad of a pull because I'm, I'm already, I think I'm strong. So I can come up and then you just let go real quick. Like in the movies when they're like holding it, it's fake as hell, man. Lord of the Rings, the two towers, when they're like, hold, hold. Bro, yeah, right. Yeah, right, dude, it's not happening. Well, say, since we can't play music, so I want to get this monetized. My own insane brain self is actually doing pretty good in this environment. Dude, should I be honest right now? Yeah. When I did the flat bench earlier. Started with too much weight. It felt heavy. Especially when I got to the 10th rep, it felt heavy. No arch, I arched on the 10th rep, felt heavy. Yeah, the last one looked heavy. It looked heavy, felt I heavy. I thought I was gonna have to spot it. I, it's like that one thing where it's like, if I don't lift this, I'm gay and my family dies, you know? Can't happen. Not today. Not today, baby. Oh my 
got eight. Only got eight of me on that one. I'll let you guys down. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe right now. I, as a dude, never expected to live this long. It's like I'm playing with house money. God, I love that forearm pump, dude. I've been really trying to train grip strength more, especially with the uh, picking up that war bow. Dude, don't bring up long bows while I'm next to you in the car. Sometimes we go until we can't. Why do we fall, Bruce? To pick ourselves back up. I'm almost getting to the point where I'm gonna break out my special tool. My special training tool. We're gonna to hit the real workout. This is just the pump workout. This isn't the real workout yet. I wanna suffer. And that tire is calling my name. I love flipping tires. Archers! Bum -dum -dum. bum 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 bum. I'm gonna be so imbalanced when I'm done with this war bell video. It is man who is made in the image of God. All right, all right. Yeah, let's do it. I'm flipping a tire. Eight hour arm workout and it's made up of 16 mini workouts every half an hour throughout the day for eight hours straight, killing your arms. And yes, it's eight hours long. Um, you know, spending eight hours in the gym is, you know, not everyone's thing, but for me, I loved it. I enjoyed it, that's where I like to be. So, um, basically, what, how it works is you take off two days from working out, no workout at all, and let your whole body recuperate fully, and then, the morning of the workout, get up, have a huge breakfast, monster breakfast, let it digest for hour and a half, two hours, and you're gonna make 16 shakes. A little bit of protein and some simple sugars and a little bit of carbs to help refuel the muscle and energize and replenish. If you're a young guy, working out is so freaking important, man. It's so important to be like not out of shape. Even throughout the rest of your life, if you essentially start young, it just makes it so much easier. Cause I know dudes got 10, 15, 20 years on me and they'll run circles around me all day, easy. Cause they're studs, man. They're studs, they started working out young, they maintained that discipline, and it leads to a long, happy, fulfilling life, man. Imagine you get older, start cranking out kids, you got sons that have to look up to you. You have a daughter you have to protect, you have to protect your wife. You know what I also hate? I get really mad thinking about it is when dudes aren't working out, but they are maxing out their video game stats. And they're not even like out of shape guys. They're not even out of shape dudes. They're spending all this time playing video games. They're not maxing out their stats IRL. You get one life. And if you die and you never experience the full potential of your physicality, that sucks. That really sucks. I couldn't imagine such a horrible fate. There are dudes out there that have been critically injured on the brink of death. Dude's literally blown up. And these guys, I, I think they would kill to get back what they lost. These guys have lost limbs. And then you have these motherfuckers out here saying, why would I go to the gym? Why would I work out? Unreal. Yeah, baby! <laughs> it's only like 60 pounds. Close grip. What I don't like about this gym, my biggest critique, not enough pictures of Arnold in the gym. Is there a picture of Arnold in here? There's one in here. It's not out in the public space. It's gotta be in the public space, man. I am not Scott of Kentucky Ballistics.
We're just chasing the pump, boys. We're just chasing the pump today. It's a nice, comfy, like natural resting point on the plate carrier. Yeah. Life hack. I feel like a failure. I feel like I let you guys down because that workout was pretty light. It's a pretty easy workout. I didn't go hard enough. But you know, it's a good start. I'm not a, I'm not a gym guy on YouTube, but it feels good. You know, it feels fun to come in, work out, rant at the camera. That's fine, I can see why there's a, there's a, a need for it, because it's a good time. But we're gonna close this bad boy out, we're gonna get out of here. I wanna, uh, I got stuff I gotta do, people gotta see, places I gotta be. Gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe, or don't, I don't care. But a comment, if you already got this far, if you got this far, I expect a comment. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice to the gym gods. Arnold. Mentor. Mentor. Uh, Platts. Ronnie. Seabump. Von Moger. A lot of them, man. Sacrifice to them. We're paying our debts. Paying our debts, gentlemen. Joe Stetics. Joe Stet. Joe Stetics. Z's. It's a sacrifice to those gentlemen. Rich Piana. We're paying our dues to the giants that came before us. We're paying our dues. This is a good. This is a pretty fun schizo episode. I will say, I had a good time, man. All right. See you guys later. My body has fully adapted to handle the calories from In-N-Out fries. We just take a bunch of pictures of you like flexing and stuff and stick them up around here. <laughs> For context, because I've been, I've been doing the long, but what the, who the f is having a medical emergency that have to have sirens? Even if I cuss and I believe that it, it feels inappropriate, my mom would hate that. Oh. Oh. This dude's so got a film, bro. Oh.